How's everybody doing today? And if you guys missed yesterday's rebuild of the Orioles, stop this video right now and click that, click that icon button above because that's where it's going to be. Make sure you guys go and watch that video before you watch this one. So let's get into this Chicago Cubs rebuild because Chicago Cubs are my favorite team and I've been wanting to do this. This was one of the first teams I wanted to do, but just because they're so good, I kind of been holding off and wanted to do a couple other teams before. So we're not we're not gonna wait. I, this is going to be probably one of the quicker rebuilds because there's only one or two pieces that really need to be moved on to make this team like really good in a sim style franchise. So looking at the roster, I'm mostly focusing on players that make immediate impact because the Cubs are so stacked. Like um, starting pitching wise, you have Hendricks, Lester, Quintana, Darvish, and really we need a fifth starter. Drew Smiley is a phenomenal sim style uh, pitcher for, you know, like a team that's trying to get into the playoffs, but for a team that is contending for a World Series title, Drew Smiley is not that guy. So we're going to definitely need a fifth starter. Um, relief wise, Pedro Strope's phenomenal. Edwards is good. And then, you know, maybe one or two relief arms to kind of solidify the bullpen. Brandon Morrow is solid. Um, catcher wise, Wilson Contreras go nowhere. He is staying here for as long as this season, this uh, rebuild goes. Rizzo, same thing. He's staying. Javi Baez, staying. Zobrist will be s traded. Um, 4.7 million. I feel like we can get a younger player for the same amount of money that'll help out just as much. Chris Bryant, not going anywhere. Addison Russell, I'm, I'm mixed because he's a really good defensive player, but for a sim style franchise, we need some bats and he really doesn't develop too well on the offensive side. So maybe we trade him for a second baseman or shortstop who actually does provide some offensive ability. Next up, Ian Happ. With that mention of Russell being traded, maybe move Happ to second base, Baez to shortstop, and then... Um, find a new left fielder because we do have Schwarber who does develop but not as quickly as Hap does. Hap turns into an absolute monster. Um, let's see who else? Elmora kind of the same thing. He's a good player but he doesn't really develop too quickly and um, he's not like the superstar that you guys um, are expecting him to be in a sim style franchise. He does get really good in the future but it takes you know it takes a couple seasons to get there. And then Jason Hayward, phenomenal in real life, especially right now in real life. But in a, I'm looking for some offense, and I don't think he has what we need for this franchise. Like, don't get me wrong, he's a great, he's a great player in real life, but um, I think it's time to move on for him in this rebuild. So the players I'm looking to move right away is Hayward and Zobrist. I probably won't trade. I think I might trade him now before the deadline. And then see if anybody's kind of underperforming and then trade those guys at the deadline who are underperforming. So the two trades I want to make are Zobrist and Hayward. If I don't find anybody that I really like for Hayward, I might just hold on to him for the time being. And then I'm going to see how Russell develops the first season. And if he doesn't do too well, then maybe we'll trade him for someone who actually does bring some offensive ability. So don't get me wrong. I love that all of these Cubs players in real life, Javi Baez is one of my favorite players on the squad. It is like he's he's a mainstay. He's an untouchable player in my eyes. Chris Bryant's untouchable. Rizzo's untouchable. Addison Russell in real life, phenomenal player. But you know, we need some pop off the bat in this franchise. So I don't know if he's gonna do it here. Same with Hayward. So let's let's see what we can do with the trades and. Um, I'll catch you guys in a sec. So the trade we're going to be making is with the Mets. Um, I feel like this is a trade that is actually going to benefit us quite well. Steven Matz is that new pitcher we're going to be adding. Four ratings higher than Drew Smiley. Um, and I think he's about the same age. Maybe two years younger. Four overall better. And um, a lot cheaper actually. So hopefully he'll you know pitch quite well. You can see their stats here um, compared I think Steven Matz, we add another lefty as well. It's a good pickup. We're also replacing Zobris with Jose Reyes, who's in his final year of his contract. So at the end of the year, I'll probably just let him go. And then we're adding Michael Conforto to replace 
um, Jason Hayward because um, like I said I wanted someone with a little bit more pop and Michael Conforto definitely has that so with this being said this is the trade we're gonna be making it is something that is a little bit out there I tried to find other trades that would work and get us some other players but I just couldn't couldn't really find anything that really stuck out so so at the start of the season this is the way we're gonna be lining up Hendricks Lester Quintana Darvish and Mats um, a lot of lefties in the rotation and then you can see the bullpen Montgomery Sis uh, Sishik Wilson Edwards jr. Simmons Dunsing Strope and Moro the lineup currently looks like this Baez Almora Bryant Rizzo Contreras Hap Russell and then I don't really like the uh, pitcher hitting after we'll just we'll just leave it like that so that's gonna be the way we line up for this season and uh, we got Schwarber Reyes Caratini and La Stella on the bench so let's just I'm not even gonna let I'm not even gonna scout I'm gonna let the P, uh, CPU handle it because right now we need current players that are gonna help us so let's get to the trade deadline day see how it goes Okay, I'm just going to pause it right here. This is the best a team has ever started in any of my rebuilds. We are currently in May. So, a f basically a full month in. We are 23-6. and six. That is the best a team has ever performed in a, like one of the rebuilds I've had. So, so far, we're looking pretty solid. So, I probably just jinxed it. But let's see how it finishes up until the trade deadline day. Also, with that being said, Conforto's been injured since like the beginning of the season i think he got hurt in like the third game no the ninth game he broke his forearm so you can see and he was on a tear he had four home runs in nine games so he was hurt um and another player that got hurt was you darvish so we've had a couple injuries and we're still on a tear so let's see how we get at the end of the uh, trade oh let's get to the trade deadline day and see how we're doing at the deadline day we are currently six uh, 68 and 38 30 games above 500 and we're 11 and a half games in first place so again i mean we're 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 getting destroyed with injuries he, justin wilson got hurt like right after i showed you guys how good we were doing you darvish was getting hurt like every other start um addison russell got hurt for a month and then um someone else did um um how it was a, it was a reliever another reliever got hurt for a couple weeks so we're we're getting hit with the injury bug and um it's kind it's kind of scary so we got we got to figure something out looking at the draft picks that the cpu did there's only really one good one and that's randy calhoun an 89 potential shortstop that's really about it um riley vaccaro is not bad as well for a catcher 83 potential that's and then maybe this 78 shortstop that has the 78 potential, Andres Lozano. So we'll we'll give him a shot as well. But other than that, everybody else looks pretty poor. And then let's quickly look at how the teams do. And Kyle Hendricks is 11 and 6 with a 3.28 ERA. John Lester is 11 and 3 with a 3.30 ERA. Quintana, sorry, is 11 and 3 with a 2.72 ERA. Darvish. 8 and 5 with a 3.76 ERA and Steven Matz is 10 and 5 with a 3.78 ERA. Montgomery Sish ooh Sishik's ERA is rough. Okay, let's switch that up. Let's uh let's move maybe Edwards there. Yeah, looking like our eesh, our bullpen is having a rough go of it right now. Yeah. So we may need some uh, bullpen arms. Russell's hitting 271. Almora's hitting 275. Bryant's hitting almost 300. Rizzo's hitting 284. Conforto's hitting 356. Um, since and you know he was hurt and he came back. Contreras is hitting 315. Schwarber's hitting 291. Baez is hitting 264. And Hap's hitting 262 on the bench. Reyes is hitting 268. Caratini's hitting 273. And Listella's hitting 235. So. So far, we're, look, we're looking pretty good. I'm liking what I'm seeing a lot. A lot. The trade we're making at the deadline is really helping this bullpen that's been struggling this year. We're going to be bringing in the Athletics reliever, Liam Hendricks. 88 overall, 29 years old with B potential. We're getting rid of a player we got from the Mets and Jose Reyes, who I was probably going to let go at the end of the year anyways. Um... One of our center field prospects in Lane Adams, as well as a pitching prospect 
in um, Luke Farrell. So at the end of the season, you can see we won our division 104 wins with 58 losses. And we're taking on the winner of the playoff game. We're going to stop and see how everyone did at the end of the year. League leaders wise, oof, Rizzo had the most homers, had the most RBIs. Chris Bryant had the most walks. Rizzo had the best slugging and Chris Bryant had the best war. And then we also had Kyle Hendricks with the most wins. All right. You can see Contreras was actually in the top 15 for batting average, which is great to see. Um, hits wise, Albert Amor had 187, Rizzo had 174, Bryant had 173. So we look like we were a pretty solid offensive powerhouse team. Rizzo was the MVP this year. And we'll look at those stats. So we were um, in first place by 17 games. And the wild card spot, we'll see. We're either taking on the Nationals or the Rockies. And then the top half of the bracket, you got the Dodgers versus the Phillies. And then the AL, you got the Twins versus the Astros. The Red Sox versus the Blue Jays. And then um, the Yankees are waiting to play one of them. So let's look at how everybody performed. Hendricks, 20 and 8 with a 327 ERA and a 125 whip. I don't know how his, his overall is going down when he performed this well. Those are unreal numbers. He pitched 200 innings and had these stats. That's that's what I like to see from a starter. Lester, his stats are going down, obviously. So it might be time to trade him, unfortunately, even though he had a phenomenal year again. Almost 200 innings and then 200 strikeouts, 73 walks, under a 4 ERA. Like, his stats are insane. Quintana, 18-5 and five with the 3 ERA, 220 innings his stats are actually going up so he's only getting better and you can see like that's those are top numbers right there um almost better than hendrix so then you got darvish who went 12 and 7 with the 419 era and um, he had 176 innings obviously like i said at the beginning of the season he was hurt a little bit but even his numbers aren't bad for a fourth starter and then Steven Matz, he finished 15 and 8. He's up to an 81. You can see his stats are going up as well. So he almost pitched 200 innings. So our rotation looks nice. Um, I'm going to drop Lester down one spot and leave it like this. But everything else is looking really, really nice. Um, the bullpen, Montgomery seems like he did pretty well in the long relief role. Edwards did okay. Um, Strope did. He had a rough year. He, he really did, even though his stats are going up. Um, his whip was 1.63. I mean, it, that's it's not horrible, but um, Shea Simmons is up to a 73, so he had a decent little year for himself. Dunsing is going down, so he'll probably leave at the end of the year. Steve Sishik is about the same. He only pitched 24 innings over the whole season, so I might get him more involved. Liam Hendricks is an 84 overall, and um, he had a pretty solid season once he joined us. And Brandon Morrow is going up, which I like to see. He had 43 saves, a 1.71 ERA, and only two blown saves. That is awesome to see. Looking at the lineup, we'll start with the bench really quick. Caratini hit 254, and La Stella hit 254 as well. Actually, identical at bats, almost identical numbers for the two players besides one homer. That's actually pretty insane. Um, Addison Russell hit 239 on the year. You can see his stats are going up, but like I said, um, his potential has gone down, so he's going to lose a little bit of value, and he's not necessarily the offensive player that I'm looking for. Even though he is developing, still, he's not he's not that offensive player I'm looking for. Amora Jr., kind of the same thing. His stats are going up, but, um, I mean, his stats were actually better than... Russell's were so maybe Almora is the one to keep and let Russell go Bryant hit almost 300 he's a 96 overall 36 homers 118 ribbies 10 stolen bases almost 300 like he's three points off 406 on base percentage this is a phenomenal year almost identical to last year and he had like just a lot better numbers um Rizzo he almost hit 300. You can see his stats are going up like crazy. I don't. The only thing that went down this year was his stealing and base running aggressiveness, which I don't care at all. He hit 42 homers, 126 ribbies, and then just those are just killer numbers. I like that a lot. 90 walks, so he got walked a lot. Michael Conforto hit 322, 
and 343 at bat or 45 at bats 25 homers 85 ribbies 430 on base percentage so that pickup is perf like looking to be really good Contreras is an 89 he hit 305 like what is this team this is just an offensive powerhouse team like holy cow and then even Schwarber starting to go up a little bit which is good because I mean he I mean he got bats and like 24 homers is pretty solid the 73 ribbies good almost 300 almost a 400 on base percentage and Baez is up to a 90 and he hit 260 on the year so but his home runs ribbies stolen bases on base percentage went up so what is going on with this team Ian Happs in 83 he had 33 homers 96 ribbies he hit 261 so I mean it's a little bit above average and then a 351 on base percentage but like what is this starting lineup this team is unreal so let's see like I don't I don't even know what this team is this team's unstoppable right now so let's just see who we're gonna be playing we're gonna take it on the Nationals let's do this let's win a World Series season one already game one Hendricks versus Gio Gonzalez and we take the five to four win next game eight to three win all right Lester Scherzer we swept them and we're gonna be taking on the Dodgers alrighty let's do this alrighty we're gonna let you Darvish pitch game one against Alex Wood and it works out 11 to 4 victory um, he pitched six innings okay second game Hendricks versus Kershaw we take the six to three win Quintana Maeda ooh, we lose our first game Lester gets us back on track though Steven Matz getting his first playoff appearance with the Cubs we're taking on the Red Sox or the Twins. Whoa, Twins in the... Oh, we're taking on the Red Sox. But Twins, that's actually a team I'm looking to rebuild. They got some nice looking players on their squad that I want to build around. So if you guys want to see a Twins rebuild, let me know in the comment section below. But Red Sox Cubs in the World Series. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a sweep. So let's do this. All right, we're going to let Darvish just take game one. And it works out two to one. Hendricks versus Price now. Four to three. Four to nothing. World Series number one. Check. We swept the Red Sox. So let's see what awards we won there. Conforto was the playoff MVP and also the World Series MVP. Let's look at his stats for the year um, after we look at the pitchers. Quintana had 20 innings pitched and a 1.8 ERA. Lester, 16 inning pitch, 1.13. Mats, 7 innings pitched, 3.86. Darvish, 12 innings pitched, 3. And Hendricks, 17 innings with a 3.63. Let's see how the bullpen did. Besides Chase, besides like the only two that had a really poor outing was Hendricks and Shea Simmons. So, so far we're looking good there. And then you can see the stats for the squad. Um, Chris Bryant had a rough postseason. Rizzo did pretty well. Conforto did pretty well. Um, Contreras did good. And then Schwarber, Baez, and Hap. So the team, top notch. Like this team is scary. So we're going to go to the offseason. Let's just get into it. We won season one. I want to see if we can go for a triple. Get three world series championships this is going to be a quicker rebuild so that's why i'm going to do three seasons with this let's do this let's let's just hop right into it so arbitration offered to all of these players except for jimenez la Stella, and bass and then tendered contracts let me see what edwards jr wants oh he doesn't want that much okay i'm cool with that then i thought he would want so much more Ooh, that changes things yeah okay so that's cool with me two years two million half two years three million Almora 1.5 million over two years um, Caratini just under two million for two years so those are the main ones there in free agency we are going to see if we can bring in Bryce Harper I know it's kind of like a, a move that everybody makes but if we're gonna build a dynasty might as well see if we can afford we can't afford to do it okay so we can't afford to bring in Bryce Harper unfortunately that's let's see if there's anybody we can move to kind of open up some budget let's see here 
Not really. <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to bring in Bryce Harper. So is there anybody? What if I do like a crazy long deal? Let's see if that works. What? It worked. Okay. So now we have Bryce Harper, which changes things up a lot because Almora, because we can move Conforto back to center. Now we have Harper, Hap, and Conforto. Almora can be traded. So maybe we can find a new shortstop. Alrighty. So a trade that we're going to be making after this crazy pickup for Bryce Harper is we are ridding of two shortstops, one of those being Addison Russell and also Randy Calhoun as well as Almora Jr. because he, he's in a stacked outfield right now. And with that, we're bringing in Xander Bogarts from the Red Sox. Not necessarily a power hitter, but very similar hitting stats to Russell, except for his contact is a lot higher. And then his fielding is about the same. So we're adding an 89 overall shortstop. And I think this is going to really make the team good. Um, we did the Rule 5 draft, and you can see the two add additions we did were four relief pitchers in um, Tui Valala and also Segrist. So we're adding another lefty and a righty, and then the, the rotation is going to stay the same. This is how the bullpen looks. Alrighty, so this is the lineup now. Baez, oh wait, no DH. Baez, Hap, Harper, um, Bryant, Rizzo, Conforto, and actually I'm swapping these two. So Hap's going to play center, Conforto's going to play left. And then, um, like, we we look deadly. This is a scary-looking team. And, uh, whew, I don't... If we don't win another World Series, I'll be super surprised. Like, this is just one of the best-looking teams we've ever created. So, we're just going to sim through to the end of the season, see how it goes, and uh, catch you guys then. Um, I think I broke the game. Uh, at the trade deadline day, we are 83 and 24. Uh, we are scary. I'm gonna move this. You can see my team stats up there. Oh my god, I broke the game, guys. Like Quintana is 11 and 3, Hendricks is 13 and 0, Matts is 13 and 5, Lester's 11 and 1, and he's decreasing. Um, you Darvish is hurt, so that's why Montgomery's come in, and Montgomery's 14 and one in the time that Darvish has been hurt. He's not even normally a starter, and he's out here at 14 and one. Our bullpen, like, I don't, I don't even know what to do, guys. Like, this is scary. Like, if you guys need to pause to see the stats at any time, go ahead because look at what this team is like I'm not even gonna read off what we have because 244 is our lowest average and that's Kyle Schwarber as a DH what all right so I showed you what we're gonna do we're not even gonna make any trades it's not fair we're just gonna sim to the rest of the season I'll catch you guys then end of the season we went 129 and 33. i had to look it up because i was kind of thinking we might actually break the record for best record in the mlb and i looked it up so the most recent one was in 2001 and it was the mariners with 116 and 46 record 116 we beat it by 13 wins like that is unbelievable like look at this team 19 and 3 for Quintana 18 and 1 for Hendricks Matts is 17 and 6 Lester 19 and 2 Darvish went 7 and 4 and he only pitched like two months Montgomery was 18 and 2 this year as a backup starter uh Tuivalala he was lights out Edwards eh Segrist not bad Sishik pretty solid Simmons pretty solid Hendricks really solid and Morrow went 56 saves I'm surprised he even needed to be worked with how crazy our team is Baez hit 270 33 homers almost 100 ribbies as our leadoff hitter um like he almost hit 100 RBIs as our leadoff hitter 
that's unreal and he's a 94 we have ian happ who's an 80 not too sh oh because he's in center field it's not like a real center fielder so he's an 80 he's our lowest player by a good amount in the starting lineup and he hit 283 with 31 homers almost 100 rbis bryce harper had 138 rbis with 47 home runs and a 310 average Bryant hit 311 with 51 RBIs. Rizzo had 33 homers, 114 RBIs. Conforto, 31 homers, almost 100 RBIs, a 300 average. Contreras, 32 homers, 100 RBIs. Bogarts, almost 100 RBIs, 27 homers, 300 average. Um, Schwarber, Caratini, so one RBI short of 100, three RBI short of 100, so we're just four short of 200 between our two first hitters like that's so 200 rbis between two players almost then you add harper makes up for that easily bryant makes up for that easily rizzo made up for that conforto a little bit short Contreras made it so we basically had 100 rbis for each player this season that's how good this team is league leaders you you can see what what it is there and then more for pitching this is unreal how good this team is um mvp to bryant and then hank aaron to bryant like this team is scary we won the division by 36 games let's just get into this playoff bracket let's go all right let's see who we're taking on in the first round of the playoffs the brewers all right won that one easily we're taking on the giants this time we lost our first game wow we actually lost the game okay we're going to the world series and we're taking on the indians oh a repeat of what happened in real life let's just get into it we lost game one we won game two lost game three whoa 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 got that back We won game seven. Alrighty, so we are in Chicago for game seven. We're gonna let Darvish handle it. And it all comes down to this. You know, like we need a good outing here. Let's see if this offense can be put into display that we talked about. Like this, all right, a single by half. And then a double. Oh, it gets thrown out at home though. Okay, that's all right. Rizzo, singles. Conforto, double play though, come on. Alrighty. Pitchers leading off, not the best. Baez grounds out, half walks, and then they get out of the inning. Oh, he gets thrown out at home. Okay. And we get out of there. All right. We haven't really threatened, though. That's the thing. Like, Oh. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That was clutch. We're still in this. We are back. Oh. Okay. Montgomery, give me one inning. That's all I'm looking for here. Perfect. There we go. Oh, I should have pinch hit for Montgomery. Okay. Um, Let's get one more from him. Maybe not. Ooh, tie game. Lefty. Lefty. Okay. Versa righty. We're going to bring Tui of Alala. Gets out of the inning. Yes. Hap. Pops out. Harper. Bryant singles. Rizzo. Yes. We're up by one in the eighth. Up by two. Oh, Bogarts. Come on. Alrighty. Uh, pitching change. You know what? Tuvalala is one of our better pitchers. Let's let him do the work. Or not. Hmm closing time did I really just blow this oh I just blew this uh, Schwarber double okay fly out Bro Harper I need you right here yes. alrighty Hendrix just there we go we're walking it off right here and i want to hop into that but it's 
not the right opportunity to do it. I just like the sound. Yes! Two straight World Series. Woo! Oh no, I wanted to look at the stats. I wanted to look at the stats of the players. No. Can I still do that? Yes, we can. Okay, so 269. Oh, that was the season stats. But still, like, holy cow. Still really good. All right, so those were the season stats. Let's see if we can bring back everybody. I don't think we're going to be able to, but we're just going to go straight into season three and uh, simulate the whole thing. So I'll see you guys then. So as you can see, we won our division with 105 and 57 and taking on the Nationals. We are going to stop and I want to show you something because our team got absolutely rocked because we ran out of money. So um, you can see we only have one bench bat and that's James Loney, the 35 year old. Um, Caratini had to step in and play third, but he's up to an 81. We had to sign Michael Taylor in free agency. Like we literally had no money that we had to cut players and then we had to send down like half our pitching staff to the minors just to make sure our roster was full so this is the team that we rocked with Baez played short um Rizzo there holy cow he had a great year Harper again another solid year Bryant Conforto Contreras Hap Caratini and then Michael Taylor and obviously James Loney look at the pitching staff we had Quintana, amazing, Un amazing. K Hendricks, amazing as well. Mats did quite well. Darvish, and then we actually had to have a fill-in pitcher with 24 stamina just because we couldn't get anybody else into the rotation. And then you can see how the bullpen did with, you know, with what we were given. Um, when I say that our starters had to go down, like Zach Wheeler, they signed him in free agency and he had to be sent down to the minors. Um, he had to be, uh, Chatwood, Lester's down here somewhere. He he even he got a couple games, but he got sent down to the minors. Um Montgomery's in the minors. Like we just we just got in such bad shape financially with all those trades. Like I couldn't even bring back Bogarts, um, Xander Bogarts, because we would just had we had absolutely no money. But yet we still went um 105 and 57 and we won the division by almost 20 games. You can see just the team is just unreal, like just scary good. So you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna let the CPU handle the playoffs. Let's just do this. I'm not gonna quick manage anything. Let's see if we can turn this Cubs team into a three peat winner of the World Series. Alrighty, playoff time. Alrighty, we're taking on the Dodgers. I gotta switch up the rotation because we have that reliever as our fifth starter so i need to make sure we can uh, avoid using him Alrighty, quintana gets the win hendrix takes the win mats gets our lost darvish gets us a win all right this is where i gotta make sure that we avoid using that guy <laughs> so uh all righty all righty so i moved the rotation around so we didn't have that reliever pitching and world series baby and our it's, it was the White Sox or the Red Sox. Ooh, that would have been great to have a Chicago World Series, but it's not It's not meant to be. We're taking on the Red Sox again. Here we go. Alrighty, so here's the team for the Red Sox. I just wanted to show you guys. Nunez, Polanco, JD Martinez, Mookie Betts. Um, that's Ben Attendee and left, the 89. Um, then you got Rafael Devers, Justin Bohr, and Christian Vazquez, along with Chris Sale. Alrighty. Whew, let's do this. Game one. There we go. Mats got the game two win. Darvish, game three. All right, we need to move the rotation. Sorry, we're just <laughs> not going to let you pitch one game. <laughs> not taking the chance. Um, so can we sweep the Red Sox here? This The team is just so good. I just on real harper hit 389 in the world series had two homers and six rbis so you can see how everyone performed really quickly um just lights out this team is too good 
like holy cow like hap hit under 100 conforto hit under 150 like you can see these we didn't perform but we still won the world series like unreal so i hope you guys enjoyed this crazy dynasty we created with the chicago cubs if you did make sure you hit that like button i will catch you all in the next video make sure you let me know in the comment section below what team to rebuild next and again hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more rebuilds i'll catch you in the next video peace